Hello and welcome to another edition of Construction Office Online. Right now we're going to make a quick overview on the cost to complete template. This thing is incredible. It's powerful, it's fast, it's easy to use. And uh, if you want to know how much it's going to cost you to finish your job, whether it's construction or any other uh, project you've got going on, this is the way to go right here. It'll let you know how much it's going to take and how long it's going to take. When you open up your template, the first thing you're going to see is this example and instruction tab. This sheet here has got a bunch of bubbles with uh, brief descriptions about each cell and what they do. Whether you're new to Excel or not, uh, take a look, spend some time, go through this and understand what these are before really diving into the template. It'll help you out a lot. Also, go and use the Help and Info tab where you can learn and walk through getting started with this Excel sheet. And then, of course, questions and answers. As with most of our other templates, we've got some quick links here that uh, get you there where you need to go, terms of use, uh, get you back to the schedule, which is where we're going to start right now. Again, we're going to hit this real quick. It's just an overview just to show you how this thing works. Okay, We're going to start with August 9th. You can enter in any date you want here. Uh, you can enter in, let's say, June 10th. 09, notice it changes. The months change automatically. This thing is powerful. It's automatic. A lot of this stuff is automatic. We're going to go back to 09, oh, uh, August 9th, okay, and start on a brand new week. It's a six day work week. We don't work Saturdays, or we try not to anyway. But I've got it here just in case, because again, I want to know how much it's going to cost to complete the project. And then, of course, we've got the corresponding calendar days here. Now, below this row, is uh, pretty important information here. We've got average manpower per day, man or woman, uh, assigned to that specific uh, job on that day. You'll see how this thing will increase as we go. And then an average of people for the week. Okay. First of all, we're looking at construction, construction office online. And I'm going to have a foreman on my job. And I need to make sure that I've got him accounted for. Now these two columns right here are automatically calculated, so you don't want to mess with those. And so is this labor column too. The only thing you want to adjust in here is your daily labor rate. Ours is about $430 a day. Yours could be less, could be more, but whatever it is, enter that value in right here. Just type in 430 or whatever your number is. Now I'm going to have a guy out there every single day for the duration of the job. He's my foreman. He's watching the job. Uh, he's the one who's going to report to me. So I'm going to have to enter in at least one man for every single day that he's going to be out there. Occasionally, again, we will have to work a Saturday, and I'll have to put that time in there if I can know ahead of time that I'm going to do it. Otherwise, um, I'm not going to worry about it right now. So I'm going to pause this real quick and throw this information in here, and I'll be right back. So for the foreman, we have 105 activity days, 105 man days, and $45,000 is total labor. Now let's say this project here, uh, I'm acting as a concrete subcontractor. We've got multiple buildings, building 1, 2, and 3, or building A, B, and C. It doesn't really matter. Right now I'm just going to call it building A. And again, we're focusing on concrete. So the first thing I'm going to do is layout. Next thing I'm going to do is excavation. Uh, next thing is going to be forming. Rebar. Uh, let's say embed items. Like anchor bolts. Sometimes we provide those, sometimes we don't. I'm going to need an inspection. I'm going to pour and I'm going to strip and clean. Okay. I'm going to make this one bold because that's a pretty uh, big item. This one's going to be bold too. And uh, you know what? I'm going to insert one row here and we're going to call this foundation. Okay. Notice how the cells automatically highlight to distinguish themselves. It makes it easy to follow this thing along, especially when you get far into the schedule. Uh, we're zoomed in pretty good here, but as you zoom out, uh, the rows being uh, colored, offset colors, makes it easier to, to navigate around the sheet. Okay, again, we're not going to touch the labor column. We are going to get into materials. For the layout, I'm probably going to have $50. And I'm not going to charge them for any equipment. We never do. We own the lasers. We own the uh, builder's level. So uh, that's all there is to it. Let's say it's going to take me two guys, four days to lay out. The next thing is excavation. Again, I'm not going to have much labor. I'm not going to have any material. I'm going to have some equipment. And really what I'm going to do is sub that guy out, that operator. Okay, so he's $130 an hour times eight hours. Let's say it's going to take him four days to dig everything out. Okay, and I'm going to start him about a day after I start my layout. Again, one guy assigned to that. 
He's going to be cleaning out footings and shooting grades for me, making or uh, elevations, making sure everything is good. And then let's get into forming. Now forming, I am going to have some material. Let's go $2,500 in forming material. Again, not really any equipment per se that I'm going to charge for. Uh, we already own it as part of our general conditions, which we'll put in somewhere else on the schedule. But forming wise, I'm going to say five guys for five days to form this uh, project. Okay. And uh, you'll notice here that the labor is automatically starting to build up. Now rebar, rebar I'm not going to have anything. I'm actually going to sub that out. We'll just put by others. I'm a subcontractor. Somebody else is going to manage him. But I want to keep an eye on where he's going to be. And I want my subcontractor or my client to know as well. So I'm going to throw some X's in here just to keep it on the radar. And then embedded items, anchor bolts, uh, embeds, templates, anything else I'm going to be setting in there. I'm going to say two guys for two days. Okay, and I'm not really going to use these guys here. I'm just going to move those guys down, flow them over here. I've still got that manpower out there on that job, but they're just not all forming it at that time. Inspection, following, and then poor day. Uh, let's say it's going to take me ten guys to do that. Uh, embed items back up here. Is it going to take any material? No. Equipment? No, my material's already in my forming. Uh, inspections, nothing there. I'm going to delete those guys. And then pouring. Uh, it is going to take me some material, so I'm going to say 250 yards times $85 a yard. It's $21,000 for that. And then equipment. Uh, let's say the pump is going to cost me um, $2,400. And I'm also going to add two uh, vibrators, two concrete vibrators. Okay. And then stripping and cleaning again. I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to have any material or equipment costs associated with that, but I am going to have two guys doing that for two days. And there you have it. So my cost to complete theoretically based on this function here is $97,000. You know, it's always a good idea to take a look at your estimate too. See what the estimator gave you and see if this is close to what he came up with. And um, uh, it's, a, it's a great vehicle to determine where you're really going to be at with costs on this project. Of course, there's more to this template than what we've covered here briefly. But once you download the template, you'll have access to multiple videos that will walk you through step by step each portion of this template so that you have a better understanding of each one of these bubbles and really how this thing works, walking you through the getting started portion of this template. Thanks again for joining us. Again, if you uh, are. Thanks again for joining us. And don't forget to check out constructionofficeonline.com to get your copy of this template or any other template. We've got multiple templates there that you can access. Feel free to browse around, and if there's anything that you need, any questions that you have, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks again. Take care. Of course, there's a lot more to this uh, this template. It's uh, we're, we're running, rushing through it real fast, but uh, once you have a template you'll be able to access multiple videos that cover several items in here and really will take some time to slowly walk you through the process of how this thing is built so that you can become a master at this sheet and a master project manager. Thanks for joining us and best wishes.